Hey, what's up guys? Come on in. Getting ready for Hawaii. It's going to be quite a big trip. And gotta say guys, this is so much organization, more than I ever thought. This is some of the stuff we're bringing in, but we need to talk about Hawaii first. All right, so you guys saw the lunch video that we posted about, what, about a month ago now. And things went super well so far. And as of right now, everything goes according to plan. The only thing we are missing actually is our negative COVID test. And this should arrive anytime in the next hour or so. So hopefully we'll have it. Hopefully we'll get to go to Hawaii because a positive COVID test will mean that we lose thousands of dollars and we don't get to film this amazing trip. So here, as you see, this is a bike I'm bringing. It's my Windspace G2, but we're gonna go a deeper dive onto this bike later into this video. As of right now, I'm just going to do a quick AeroFit training to show you guys what are the benefits of me using AeroFit for preparation to go to Hawaii. Then we were gonna go to uh, iBike, to my bike shop, because I feel this bike just needs a little bit more adjustments and I need some spare parts as well. We'll go over all the stuff, all the gear that I got on the table there, and hopefully uh, it will give you guys some ideas on what to bring to your next bike packing trip or just bike trip. So without further ado, let me just do a quick AeroFit training. I do this every single day, about five minutes per day, and the reason is, I need to train my respiratory muscles because as you guys saw the impossible route challenge, I will be so high in altitude that I will have a hard time breathing. So I'm putting all the chances on my side using AeroFit just to be able to intake more oxygen every breath that I do. All right guys, so using the AeroFit app, so I go uh, to respiratory training, respiratory strength, and I just continue my program. As of right now, I've restarted over and over again, but here I'm on session number three, which is an inhale strength training. And I need to do a lung test because it's been a while. So let's do one real quick, F6. So what's great about the lung test is something that I've done at the start of my training and now I'm doing it now and every single week. And the lung test is how much liters of oxygen I can intake. And when I started the program, I was about five liters. So hopefully here, I'll go around more six or seven liters with this test today. So it's said to empty my lungs. Six point one. Well, that's one more leader than I started my training about a month ago. That's really good. I'm super hyped on it. So let's just do a quick training program. All right. So that's good for my training today. Uh, basically, I do this every single day. I do different exercise, and it's just for me a good way to prepare for Hawaii. So yeah, thank you AeroFit, that feels great. All right, so let's move on back to the table to everything I'm bringing with me. So this ship, I'm going for about 10 days. We do six days of bike packing, so it does require a lot of equipment, a lot of gear. So let's start with some uh, basic, thanks to Lazion here, I have this really amazing multi-tool. So I have here a chain breaker on this side and all the Allen that I need. And they also have on, inside of here some Tubeless plugs, which is really nice. So moving on, uh, these are again a must from Muckoff. The chamois cream is probably one of the best cream I've ever had. Uh, this is what I've been running this whole season. It's called the, the Luxury CC, highly recommend. Got some tubeless sealant because I will be running tubeless tires and I will be changing my tires as well throughout the trip. Got some dry shampoo to stay clean. Got some Muckoff lube as well. Bring with us some Lesine lights. These are brand new, I will need to charge them, but Lesine makes super reliable, bright lights. Uh, so this is why we're gonna be running those onto our bikes. Next, some US American cash. It's not everywhere that they use credit card. So just always have some backup money with us. Bib, red white bibs. Uh, you guys, I saw my video with red wipes. It's, these are one of the best bib on the market for their price. It's about $120, $130, and you do get a lot of value with these bibs. So this is what me and Gabrielle will be having for a whole trip. Definitely check out red white. Got some Jaybirds Vista here. We have some spare tubes, a spare repair kit with tire levers. Uh, since we only bring two tubes with us, uh, we decide to bring some patches. So in the event we have punctures, we can always fix them. 
Next, since we're in Hawaii, we might leave our bikes uh, when we do groceries, when we go to the beach. So we bring a super light, yet super strong and secure bike lock. This one is from Abus. Next, again from Abus, I have the Air Breaker helmet. The Air Breaker is probably one of my favorite helmets right now. It's so light, it's so breathable, yet super safe as well. Camera wise, you guys know we'll be filming this whole trip. The first part will be just me and Gabrielle, uh, mostly vlogging as we're bike pack on the road. So I'm bringing with me my A7R3 with the 2470 2.8. This is my go-to camera, my go-to setup to film 90% of my cycling YouTube videos. And to go along that, the GoPro 9. If you follow me on Instagram, you saw that I lost a GoPro last week. Uh, actually when doing a gravel race. So I bought one again just for this trip and it's here. Next to get on the bike, the Vapor G, the best cycling shoes in the world are from Buns and these are no exception. The Vapor G are the exact same model as my Vapor S. The Vapor S which is for road, this one is for gravel and these, the good perks again about Bun shoes is that you can mold them in the oven uh, so basically you put them in the oven for 20 minutes, 170 Fahrenheit, you get them out of the oven, you put your feet in and they are remolded to your feet. Uh, I've remolded all my cycling shoes just to have the perfect fit and yeah, bonds are the best. Get yourself a pair, I highly recommend them. For navigation, we're having, uh, Gabrielle has my old Wahoo and I got my Karoo too. Uh, Karoo is great, I love the navigation. For the glasses, I just got this for my birthday. Gabrielle got me the Kato's, the gold Kato's. They're beautiful, huh? Do I look a bit cocky, man? How's that, how does that look? No, fast. <laughs> look like I go fast. So yeah, I got my Kato's and I absolutely love them. And now the last piece of equipment I wanna show you guys that we bring with us, which basically brings everything for us is those big Evoc bags. So HLC, hook us up again with those Evoc bags. So we got two, one for Gabrielle, a bit smaller one and one for me here. If you've been following me on YouTube for a while, you know that I, when I came back from California last year, the airline company killed my bike. They broke my Garneau um, because the bag I had was not a good bag. So now with the Evoc Road Bike Pro, everything should go right. Everything should go according to plan. So it has plenty of space. You put the bag in. And what I love about this bag is that I don't need to disassemble my bike totally. I can. I can leave the rear derailleur, I can leave the, the front hand cockpit. All right, so I absolutely love this bag. It's the Road Bike Pro. Amazing, good construction, and the bike should be safe. Shao! What? Shao, I have a good news. Gabrielle has something for us, let's go. Ooh. What's up? I printed something you're gonna be happy about. Ooh. Ooh, okay, we got something from uh, State of Hawaii, Travel Program, Trusted Partners, COVID-19. Look at this, boys. Boom! Negative! Yeah, we're going to Hawaii. I know! That's so still, exciting! Are you happy on that? Yes, I was actually so scared. <laughs> like yesterday, Charles thought I was so weird. I was at the place and they were asking me questions and I was so stressed. <laughs> because I, I heard all those stories of people testing positive even if they had no symptoms. So I was uh, I was quite scared, but now I'm very now happy good. about this. We're good. Yes. Cool. Thank you. Where's Josh gonna answer? Josh. Come on, Josh. Come on, Josh. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Josh doesn't answer, but uh, I've texted him this morning, so we'll just go to the bike shop and the guys will take care of us. And I know you guys want to see everything on this bike. We'll do it outside. All right, so now we're just going to uh, take uh, Phil's bike. All right, Phil, that's where you're going to be riding today. This thing is so heavy. <laughs> Let's go! All right, straight to the bike shop. Whoa! Just got to our favorite bike shop. We have Felix here who's going to help us out. 
fixing the bike, making sure everything goes well during this big bike packing trip. Felix, want to get this on the bike stand? Yeah, let's, let's go. go. All right, we have Josh here, the owner of the shop. Josh is hard at work, crunching numbers here on his uh, Excel files right there, making online sales. <laughs> yeah. So here's the Velo White bike. You guys, I've seen this all over the place on my Instagram in the last couple of years. Made a few videos here as well. Got my man Yan here. What's up? What up? It's good. What's up? All right, so Felix, what's a good thing for me to keep in mind when bike packing? Well, most important, keep the, tire, the pressure on your tires maintained as possible. You want it to be uh, as optimal as possible. If you keep it too low, you might have some flats. And if you keep it too hard, you might lose some traction. Makes if sense, not, yeah. Check your chain, make sure it's well lubed and really make sure that your derailleur is straight all the time. If you fall, make sure that it's straight because you might get it in your spokes and with nice expensive carbon wheels. Yeah, it's don't want that. A lot, a lot more expensive to break it. Perfect. Seems to be in good shape from what I can, from what I see. I've had some a uh, little bit of problem shifting sometimes, so maybe like the barrel just there needs to be Probably. just a little bit. Oh yeah, well, chain is a bit too long. There's the issue. A lot of, a lot of play left in there. Yeah. This is my first GRX uh, derailleur. Yeah. Can you explain me how the clutch work? Uh, the point of the clutch is to reduce uh, this play here. It puts, it adds friction okay. uh, in this pivot of the derailleur. So if you're riding on uh, like harsher terrains, it's gonna limit this play. Got it. And maybe, well, now you have a front derailleur, so it really doesn't matter. But if you were on a one by setup, it would keep your chain from dropping Got in the front it. all the time. Make your speeds a little harder to shift. Yep. Uh, you should always put it on. Always? It should be Kip. on at all time. I have one thing to say though. Your cassette is not properly tightened. Not at all. Oh. So we're gonna take that off and fix that. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. <laughs> that might be why you were having a bit of trouble. So guys, I do a lot of home mechanic, but I'd never trust myself. But this is why I come to the pros to figure out all the problems and all the issues I have. Take the derailleur out of the way. And yeah, oh yeah. Cool. Oh yeah. <laughs> okay. Oh, it's impossible. Oh, it's impossible. Oh, it's good. Okay. So you put a spacer on the bottom side. Yeah, always on the bottom side. Okay. Woo! So good thing I came to the bike shop. I thought I was all set, but turns out Felix found out another problem with my bikes. Felix, thank you so much. You're the best mechanic I know. Uh, equal with Vincent, just to make sure that I don't create beef out there. But but Felix built uh, my Windspace T1500, and uh, Vincent built this G2. So. They're equal to my heart right now. See you, it's always a pleasure. Ciao guys. All right guys, so we just finished at Velo I Bike. Again, massive shout out to the boys there. If you're in Montreal, this is the bike shop you need to come. So now the bike is up and running. So I had two flaws, two issues. My big 1142 cassette was loose and my headset was a little bit loose. So the guy fixed it. Now let's head back to a park where we have a little bit less noise. And I'm gonna give you a bike check of this. Wind Space G2. Let's go. All right. It's now time to talk about the bike check. Let me show you everything I got on this bike for our bikepacking trip and for the impossible route as well. All right, so as of right now, it's pretty obvious, but this bike is rigged for bikepacking because I mean, it weighs like 50 pounds. It's a lot, it's heavy. I'm carrying all the stuff that Gabrielle needs for those couple of days because no bags fit on her bike. It's too small, no saddle bag, no frame bag. So I'm being a man, I'm being the man of our relationship and I will be carrying all our bags for hundreds of kilometers as well. So this is the bike I have. You guys seen it before on my YouTube channel is the Windspace G2. Uh, Windspace has been killing it with their bikes lately. 
and the G2 is no exception. It's brand new, it just got released a few months ago and I absolutely love it. I've been riding it for the last season. And what I love the most about this gravel bike is because you can mount it as a racing bike, you can mount it as a cycle tourist bike, a bike packing bike, a cyclocross bike. You put road bike tires on it and you have a road bike as well. So this bike really does it all. I love the fact that there's mounting options everywhere. So as you see here on the fork, I have a bottle cage on both sides. And on the rear, I have this rack, so I, mean, I, so I can have a lot of bags here in the rear. Yeah, so the total weight of this bike is well over 250 pounds. So I have absolutely no problem to bring all of these bags with me on this carbon bike. Components wise, they're all FSA components. So the bar, the stem, the crank is FSA. I absolutely love it. The bar is one of my favorite bar of all time. It's really made for gravel. It has flats around here. There's a riser on top here. So when I want to be just chilling, I put my hands up top there. It's more comfortable. And there's the flare bar as well because a gravel bike needs flare bars in my opinion. The crank is a 48 to 32. It's uh, everything I need to climb any climbs and pair that with an 11 to 42 cassette in the rear. I'll be able to climb anything even though I have all these bags with me. So for the tire choice, with the bike packing part in mind, I went with a slicker tire. So these are the Pirelli Cinturato Velo. And these tires are the toughest for punctures that I know of, but they are still fast and don't have a lot of rolling resistance. So this is why I've decided to put those tires on because the first part of this trip will be on the tarmac. So to be able to follow Gabrielle with all this weight, I need good tires. If I add dedicated gravel tires, there will be too much friction. The tire will not be fast enough. It would slow us down a couple, maybe two or three kilometers an hour. So having these tires is a must. And when it will come for the impossible route, I will take off all the baggage. I will change the tires. I will put bigger gravel tires as well. So to get back to the bike packing bags, well, I have Lesine here who hooked it up with their frame bag, which is waterproof. It's big enough for me to carry a lot of stuff. And here, this is usually a handlebar bag that goes in the front but we decided to use the full width of this bag. So it's really longer than the width of my handlebar here. So it's attached to the rack. So all Gabrielle's stuff are in there. I also borrowed bags from a friend, Nathaniel. Shout out to Nathaniel. Uh, so these are uh, re called Restrap. It's a brand from the UK, if I'm correct. Uh, so this is usually a saddle bag, but I've just put it on top of the rack. It's strapped there. And in the front, what I love about it is I have quick access to this bag here. I can take it off easily in seconds. So in there I can have my cameras, I can have my passport, my wallet, and I still have another waterproof bag down there that I can put my clothing in and all our stuff to live for a couple days. And on the underside, I have a pump here because we're not carrying CO2 cartridges with us. And I have here Craft Cadence who hooked theirs, uh, these bags. They're, right now they are empty, but I will put a lot of stuff in those. They're waterproof. They're quite small. They usually go in front of the handlebar, but here I just decided to strap them on my pannier, on my rack over there, and it does the job well. And all right, so this is it for the bike check. I hope you guys loved it. If you want to check out all the parts and all the components of this bike, there will be all the links into the description down below. Let's head back home. So well, time for me to take all the baggage off this bike and we'll put it onto the bike bags and fly away tomorrow morning. Let's go. All right guys, so we're back home. It's time for me to get ready uh, to dismount the bags, put it back into the AVOC Roll Bike Pro. Let's just do it quickly. So basically here, what I've done is I've strapped all the bags together onto this rack, which is fairly easy to dismount. Here's one, so this one is mine. This is all my cycling stuff. So I have about four red white bibs, four jerseys and um, socks. So these Craft Cadence bag will be used exclusively for all our electronics since they're uh, really uh, waterproof. This is where my cameras will go and all our charging cables. And next the frame bag, I, I might leave it here for now. We'll see. The front bags from my buddy Nathaniel. Let's take these out. I love the fact that how easy and quick release this is. Which in this is everything Gabrielle's stuff. So all her cycling stuff, all her clothing stuff fits into one about 10 liters bag from design, which is pretty nice. And next I'll take off my wheel. Here's one and let's take the... 
So what's nice about the Evoque bag is it comes with this rail and I don't need to dismount everything on the bike so I can just literally put the front axle there, the rear axle there, and technically the derailleur are safe. There we go, almost there. All right, so this is it guys. Uh, I will stop filming because this might take forever for me to build this for the first time, but the Evo bag looks super safe. I'm excited to travel with this and have our bikes in there. Uh, and we have some peace of mind to go to Hawaii this time. All right guys, so this is it for episode number two of the Hawaii series, the old preparation. If you have any question about the equipment that I have or about the brands that are partnering up with this series, definitely leave a question down below in the comment section. I'll do my best to answer all of them. If you wanna stay tuned to episode number three, which will be our travel to Hawaii, the bike builds and getting ready for our first bikepacking trip, well, definitely hit the subscribe button if you want to stay tuned for that. This episode will be released in exactly seven days. All right, if you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to leave a thumbs up, subscribe if you aren't already. And my name is Charles, and I will see you guys on the road or into the next video. Peace.